what's your take on sort of the key causes of fatty liver? It's obviously sort of a, uh, fatty liver is ex extremely simple. Yeah. It's, it's more fat going into the liver than it's coming out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how does that happen? And what are the, 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 the dietary factors or lifestyle factors that, yeah, that sure. act on that? Cause there's obviously sort of an epidemic of people who are, who right. are eating fatty livers. What, what's, what are the, what do people need to know about the causes and how to fix it? Right. So, um, there's, there's a, there's a few, a uh, few ways that fat gets into your liver. The majority of fat that gets into your liver is actually just caused by you releasing fatty acids from your own adipose tissue that will go to the liver, get made into triglycerides and go back to the adipose tissue and then get stored. It's a cycle that's just always happening. And, um, if that, if your liver can export triglycerides, fine. Triglycerides are the main fat molecule. Um, you don't get fatty liver. But if your liver can't export them, they get stuck there and they cause fatty liver. The second most important source of fat in the liver is dietary fat. Um, dietary fat is, you're going to eat it. It's going to travel through your lymph system. It's going to go to your circulation. Um, it, how much your liver sees is going to depend on how much your other tissues take up. And so your liver is going to see a lot more of it if um, if you're sort of in chronic energy excess than if you're not, but dietary fat is always going to make its way into the liver. If you are, um, and then the, the minority of it, so maybe like 5% in a healthy person and 15% in someone who is metabolically dysfunctioned is going to come from de novo lipogenesis, which is the proce process of converting carbohydrate into fat. Um, that is never a major factor, right? So like in a healthy person, maybe it's 5% of liver fat um, and it doesn't matter because they're healthy and they can export the fat. Um, so de novo lipogenesis is never the major factor. And you can see, even though in people with fatty liver disease, it might be tripled from normal, it's going basically from 5% to 15%. And so it's gonna make a contribution, but a lot of people, who advocate low carbohydrate diets as the thing to resolve fatty liver disease focus very much on that 15% when the other 85% is a lot more important um, quantitatively. This, if I can interject one thing here, there's, you know, kind of within a lot of sort of popular nutrition thinking right now, there is a lot of what you just said will kind of be counter to some of the ideas that people have been exposed to recently. So the idea sure. that fat doesn't make you fat, sort of you can consume all the dietary fat you want and it just gets burned off while carbohydrate is really the thing that's getting turned into fat. So just yeah. um, so, so why that's right. not accurate. Yeah, it's, it's not accurate at all. Um, even if someone is getting fat from eating too much carbohydrate, they're getting fat uh, the, most of the fat that, that is going in their adipose tissue is dietary fat. And, and like, if you, if you take someone with caloric balance and then you add 300 calories a day of carbs, um, they're going to get fat from eating too much carbs because that's the thing that you added. But the adipose tissue is going to be almost exclusively derived from dietary fat. And the way that that carbohydrate makes you fat is to prevent you from burning the fat in your diet and locking that fat in your diet and adipose tissue. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're, if you're, if you, and you know, ad, uh, adiposity or obesity is extremely strongly correlated with fatty liver, like nothing else is. And the, the main reason for that is that when you exceed what some people now are calling your personal fat threshold, which is the, the point at which you can handle all the excess energy and efficiently stored as fat. When you exceed that point, it becomes harder and harder for you to store the energy. That fat's floating around. And particularly in visceral abdominal fat, that fat, that fat pad empties directly into the liver. It doesn't even go into the blood circulation first. So the main reason um, obesity is associated with fatty liver is that the visceral abdominal fat is just constantly flooding the liver with fatty acids that can't get out. However, it's also the case that um, when you are in a caloric excess, then uh, all these other things start, um, com you know, start com becoming more significant. Um, so you're, you're going to have more de novo lipogenesis if you're in a caloric excess. Not a lot, but you're going to have more 
Um, and you're just going to have lower ability to store and or dispose of all that energy. And some portion of that energy is going to wind up going through the liver at some point. And if it can't get out, then boom. Um, but the, so that's the fat in equation. The fat out equation is basically determined by two things. One is your choline status because choline is part, is part of what the simple way to put it is choline helps you get fat out of the liver. And then oxidative stress, which we've talked about a little bit in, in this show and in our, the previous show we did, oxidative stress damages the ability to get fat out of the liver. So mm. choline and oxidative stress are the two major things controlling that. But do a little math here. In the person with fatty liver disease, their ability to take fat out of their liver is 75% reduced. Mm. So that means now de novo lipogenesis, which is converting carbs to fat, is tripled to about 15%. And so if that 15% is 75% reduced, then you're, you're talking about, um, you know, I don't know what that is, three, three or 4% of the, of that is getting trapped in the liver. Now, um, you're just circulating fatty acids from your adipose tissue back and forth is the source of something like 60% of fat that's going through the liver. Um, if you're, if your ability to export fat from the liver is reduced 75%, it's 75% of that 60% number that is contributing to that liver fat. Right. Um, if dietary fat is coming in at, you know, 30 something percent or, you know, 20 or 30%, um, then 75% uh, of that is more significant than um, the de novo lipogenesis but it's still not as significant as just the circulating fatty acids, which by the way, are a lot higher when you're obese and you've crossed your personal fat threshold. So you can talk about lots of ways of resolving fatty liver. The most important thing out of everything is to attain a healthy body composition. It doesn't matter how you do it. To get from obese to healthy weight is the single most important thing that you can do to resolve fatty liver if you are obese, which you know, it's something like, uh, I think two thirds of obese people have fatty liver and 76% of people with fatty liver are obese. Right. So most of people that applies to, um, but then after that, uh, you know, if you lose weight on a low carb diet, or you lose weight on a low fat diet, it doesn't either way is going to really help your liver. Um, but then after that, you're talking about, um, dietary fat is going to be more important than de novo lipogenesis. So you can ramp the novo lipogenesis as high as it'll go on a high carbohydrate diet. It's still not going to be anywhere near as high as the amount of fat coming into your diet. So dietary fat is way more predisposing to fatty liver than dietary carbohydrate ever can be. Um, but among carbohydrate, fructose is more lipogenic. And so if you just cut out the sugar, that's going to do a lot of help. Um, so minimizing, taking fat down and sugar down. But the, the, big elephant in the room that most people don't talk about is that if you just get rid of that 75% decrease in the ability to export fat from the liver, you export all the fat. It doesn't matter where it came from. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you drank three forties uh, every day and it's all coming from alcohol. It doesn't yeah. matter if you eat sugar all day long. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you just eat choline. You can eat all the sugar you want. I'm not but you're not going to get fatty liver from sugar if you have enough choline and you have enough antioxidant protection in the liver. So the real big thing that, um, and you, you know, you should eat, lose weight, you should eat a healthy diet, but you really have to fix the choline and antioxidant protection of this to just get the fat out of the liver. That addresses all the fat, no matter where it came from. Hey there, this is Ari again. One more quick thing before you go. Just make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Energy Blueprint, and also make sure to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform, whether that's iTunes or Stitcher or anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview, and I will see you again next week.